Number one! You're not going to believe what these caterpillars from tropical Africa are going to transform into. And don't say into a moth, you smartass. This YouTube channel is about moths. So that's pretty obvious, okay? God. You know it always make me sick. These caterpillars look scary, but they are totally harmless. And in fact, some people in Africa eat them. No thanks, ew. I prefer sophisticated Western food full of microplastics, dioxins, and heavy metals. Yummy. They eventually pupate and transform into the cabbage tree emperor moth or Bunea alkino. Amazing. They can be found in the rainforest and savanna shrublands in many African countries and have two gorgeous orange eye spots that give them an intimidating appearance. Number two! Alright, these caterpillars are looking crazy, yo. And the larger these green babies grow, the more ribbed they seem to become for your pleasure. The species in this top five were selected at random, but it just so happens we have two tropical African species in a row. Because when these babies are fully grown, they spin cocoons. And when the cocoons hatch, they turn into the African moon moth. Meet Archema mimosa, the African moon moth. It's found in tropical rainforests in many sub-Saharan African countries is pretty widespread. It's also damn beautiful with two long hind wing tails. In Europe and America, people often trade and sell these cocoons in the pet trade. Number three, are you excited? Ooh, I sure am excited. Moths really excite me because I don't have a social life, I don't have a girlfriend, I don't have a job. <laughs> I love moths. And these are the caterpillars of a true rarity. It may surprise you to learn it's a species from Central America that feeds on oak tree. It's hard to imagine oak tree in the rainforest in Panama, Costa Rica, Mexico, Colombia, but not many people know it secretly grows there too on high altitudes where it's colder. It transforms into Godman silk moth, also known as Anterea hopmani. It's exclusively found in cloud forests where the temperatures are colder and the humidity is extremely high. Clever Americans may notice it kind of looks like the polyphemus moth. That's true, they are closely related to the polyphemus moth. These are the babies of a moth from Southern Europe. It is found in many countries, including but not limited to Italy or Greece. I would name all the countries if I could, but due to the TikTokification of YouTube, I need to keep it short and sweet. Nowadays, content needs to cater to children with ADHD to succeed. These caterpillars feed on many trees, but they prefer to feed on oak tree. They are green and hairy and eventually spin cocoons, and they turn into the European emperor moth. What? The autumn emperor moth. This species flies very late in the year near freezing temperatures in autumn. Perhaps because of this, in effect they are short-lived and highly seasonal, not many people are even aware of its existence in Europe. Thankfully my channel is here to educate you about them. So what are these small caterpillars going to turn into? You will not believe your eyes, dudes. So this is the first time their life cycle has been caught on camera. I'm going to keep you guessing, but here's a hint. Many superstitious people are afraid of this moth and think they bring bad luck, diseases or death and are associated with black magic. These moths can be raised on many plants, including Inga, maybe even Robinia, Gredizia, Cassia, Grimocladis, and more. They are widespread in Central and South America, but are also found in the United States of America and Canada. After raising them for a long time, the caterpillars pupated. Woohoo! Yes, that's right, it's the black witch moth, and I am one of the only people who ever raised them in captivity. Did you know that? In fact, par part of my scientific research was to study their life cycle. The caterpillars and host plants have been documented before, but no one has described all the life stages in early instars. That technically makes me the first person to document it. I even got several mentions from it from other entomologists and environmental organizations congratulating me. This will help the conservation of this species in the future. A scientific article is going to be prepared and a bigger video. That's right, I made a scientific contribution by documenting their life cycle accurately for the first time. It takes a long time to write such an article ever, but subscribe to my channel to see it happen. These moths are really beautiful, dark and slightly purple you have to love it. Subscribe for more life cycles.